Yo, what's going on guys? Hennis here. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to show your live YouTube subscriber count on your YouTube stream. This is one of the best features I think any YouTuber can have on their YouTube live stream because it's a constant reminder to newcomers to the stream, hey, if you subscribe to the channel, you'll see this number go up by one. And that's the way I've always advertised it to my audience and seen the best results. If you can do anything in your live stream to let the viewers change something that happens on your screen, in this case, increase your subscriber subscriber count by one, that's going to be a great way to increase your viewer engagement and in this case, increase your subscriber count. So we are going to be using OBS for this tutorial. If you don't have OBS downloaded, there will be a link in the description down below. So the first thing to do is go into the description down below and copy this URL. And this is for my live YouTube subscriber account. So if you guys take that link, you open it up in a browser window, paste it in a tab and press enter, it will actually load my main channel's live subscriber account, which right now sits at 258,185 subscribers. So we just want to add this number to OBS, none of this background clutter. So what I'm going to do is show you guys a very clean and elegant way to add your live YouTube subscriber account to OBS and even show you guys how to change the font and even the color of your live subscriber count if you want to. Now you guys obviously want to see your own channel's live subscriber count on screen, not mine. So what you want to do is navigate to your YouTube channel homepage. And once you're here in the URL, you'll see this long string of alphanumeric characters usually started by UC. And what you want to do is just copy this long channel ID and go back to the live YouTube subscriber count page, paste that in the search field here press search and you should see your live YouTube subscriber count on screen. For those of you guys who meet YouTube's requirements, you may have a custom URL set for your YouTube channel. You can also use that. For example, I could also just put in Pro Hennis and press search because my YouTube channel's custom URL is youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Pro Hennis. But everyone out there has their own custom channel URL ID. So that's the one I'm gonna show you guys how to use in this video. So now that we have your live YouTube subscriber count, what you guys wanna do is copy the entire URL for your live YouTube subscriber count page. And once you've copied that, go ahead and open up OBS, right click underneath sources, go to add and click browser source. And you can call this whatever you want, but since we're adding a live YouTube subscriber count, I'm gonna call it YouTube sub count, press okay. Now where it says URL, this is where you're gonna enter the URL that we just copied. And if you guys go back down to the description, I have everything in a notepad here, but you guys will all see this in the description. You can see everything that you need to set in OBS in order to make sure that your live YouTube subscriber account looks very clean and very elegant. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this off to the side right here. Go back to OBS and press okay for right now. And when I drag these two things side by side, you guys will see that for right now on OBS, the live YouTube subscriber count, it looks decent, but it's pretty cluttered. We wanna get rid of all of this background noise. So what we wanna do is right click on your browser source, go to properties. And here we're gonna change the width to 1000, just like it says in the note and change the height to 120. Now underneath CSS, this is where you guys are gonna copy this entire body of text from the description. You don't really need to know a whole lot about what this means, but one of the cool customizations that you do have the power to change is the font. You can see right now, I have a custom font on my computer called Agency FB that I think looks really cool for my live YouTube subscriber count font, but you can change this to be whatever you want. Now you can check all of the fonts that you have installed on your computer by going down to your search bar, typing in fonts and clicking on the fonts control panel window that comes up and this will show every single font that's on your computer so what you can do is just take the name of any one of these fonts and put that in for the font family name in the OBS CSS styling so you can see I have my agency FB font here in the upper right hand corner but let's say I wanted to change it to something like core bell so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back down to CSS styling and I'm gonna change agency FB to core bell and press OK. Now what you'll notice is that the live YouTube subscriber count font will actually change. Now it is very important. You do have to have the font that you want to use installed on your computer. But as I said, I like to have my font be agency FB. So I'm going to right click again, scroll down to the bottom and change core bell to agency FB and press OK. And you can see it will change the font to agency FB, which I think looks really cool. So we're one step closer and it's starting to look really nice, but a lot of you guys may wanna change the font color and get rid of this white background that you guys see here. So the next thing we're gonna do is add some filters to our browser source. You can see that's the final step here in the description down below. So the next thing to do is right click on your browser source and go to filters. Now, currently you shouldn't have any effect filters in here. If you do, make sure you remove all of them. 
click on this plus sign in the lower left and the first one that we're going to apply is a color key you can call it whatever you want i'm just going to leave it at color key now for the color key type you're going to want to select custom color and then for key color you want to click select color and then just click on the white box and click ok everything else you can leave as default now right now this looks pretty ugly it's just this disgusting gray color but we've gotten rid of that white background which is what we wanted so the next step is to click the plus sign in the lower left again and this time we're going to add a color correction again call it whatever you want for gamma drag this all the way up to three and contrast drag that all the way up to two now what you'll notice is the color for your live sub count will change to white i currently like to have my live youtube subscriber count be a white color because that's what goes nicely with my overlay that i've custom made for my live youtube subscriber count however what's nice here is that you guys can actually go down to select color and change your live youtube subscriber count color to whatever you want now because we did alter the gamma and the contrast not every color is going to be exact for example if we select this green and click ok it does look a little bit different than what it does when we select it on the color palette here if we were to select maybe a different color you can see everything is going to be slightly off just simply because we've adjusted the gamma and the contrast here but once you found a color that you really like just click ok and leave it at that and we'll move on to the final step and the final step is to add a crop filter so click the plus in the lower left and go to crop slash pad again call it whatever you want and set the left and right values to 200. And what you guys will notice is that's gonna crop out the left and right side of your live YouTube subscriber count to get rid of those annoying bars that we saw on the side. So if you go ahead and click close now, what you'll notice is that you have a very clean looking live YouTube subscriber count with a transparent background with a custom font and a custom color. This is in my opinion, the best way to add your live YouTube subscriber count on screen. It gives you the most customizability and ends up looking the cleanest. If you guys found this tutorial helpful, make sure you go ahead and drop a like on the video and subscribe to Pro Tutorials for more great content. If you guys have any confusion or you ran into any problems when setting up your live YouTube subscriber account, make sure you leave them down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer as many questions as possible, and hopefully you'll be able to get some help from some other users down there as well. But ladies and gentlemen, that is all. I'll see you guys in the next one.